Can garlic or exposure to sun help prevent the new COVID-19 infection? Holding your breath for more than 10 seconds means you don't have COVID-19? Welcome to Mr. Bug, and today we answer these questions and many more myth-busting popular beliefs about the new coronavirus. Don't forget to subscribe to stay in touch and spread knowledge about the latest news worldwide. The new coronavirus came along with a lot of myths about the spread or about prevention. New stuff appears daily in the news and it's important to inform yourself so that you understand what is the gravity or triviality of that news. The myths we are about to talk about can be found also on the myth-busting page of the World Health Organization and spoiler, all of them are busted. Exposing yourself to the sun or to temperatures higher than 25 Celsius or 75 Fahrenheit will prevent the coronavirus disease. You can catch COVID-19 no matter how sunny or hot the weather is. Countries with hot weather have reported cases of COVID-19. To protect yourself, make sure you clean your hands frequently and thoroughly and avoid touching your eyes, mouth and nose. Catching the new coronavirus means you will have it for life. Most of the people who catch COVID-19 can recover and eliminate the virus from their bodies. If you catch the disease, make sure you treat your symptoms. If you have cough, fever and difficulty breathing, seek medical care early, but call your health facility by telephone first. Most patients recover thanks to supportive care. Being able to hold your breath for 10 seconds or more without coughing or feeling discomfort means you are free from the coronavirus. The most common symptoms of COVID-19 are dry cough, tiredness and fever. Some people may develop more severe forms of the disease such as pneumonia. The best way to confirm if you have the virus producing COVID-19 disease is with a laboratory test. You cannot confirm it with this breathing exercise which can even be dangerous. Drinking alcohol will protect you against COVID-19. Unfortunately, drinking alcohol does not protect you against COVID-19 and can be dangerous. Frequent or excessive alcohol consumption can increase your risk of health problems. COVID-19 virus cannot be transmitted in areas with hot and humid climates. From the evidence so far, the COVID-19 virus can be transmitted in all areas, including areas with hot and humid weather. Regardless of climate, adopt protective measures if you live in or travel to an area reporting COVID-19. The best way to protect yourself against COVID-19 is by frequently cleaning your hands. By doing this, you eliminate viruses that may be on your hands and avoid infection that could occur when touching your eyes, mouth and nose. Cold weather and snow kills the new coronavirus. There is no reason to believe that cold weather can kill the new coronavirus or other diseases. The normal human body temperature remains around 36.5 to 37 Celsius regardless of the external temperature or weather. The most effective way to protect yourself against the new coronavirus is by frequently cleaning your hands with alcohol-based hand rub or washing them with soap and water. Taking a hot bath will prevent the new coronavirus disease. Taking a hot bath will not prevent you from catching COVID-19. Your normal body temperature remains around 36.5 to 37 Celsius regardless of the temperature of your bath or shower. Actually, taking a hot bath with extremely hot water can be harmful as it can burn you. The best way to protect yourself against COVID-19 is by frequently cleaning your hands. By doing this, you eliminate viruses that may be on your hands and avoid infection that could occur when touching your eyes, mouth and nose. The new coronavirus can be transmitted through mosquito bites. To date, there has been no information nor evidence to suggest that the new coronavirus could be transmitted by mosquitoes. The new coronavirus is a respiratory virus which spreads primarily through droplets generated when an infected person coughs or sneezes or through droplets of saliva or discharge from the nose. To protect yourself, clean your hands frequently with an alcohol-based hand rub or wash them with soap and water. Also, 
avoid close contact with anyone who is coughing or sneezing. Hand dryers are effective in killing the new coronavirus. Unfortunately not, hand dryers are not effective in killing the 2019 novel coronavirus. To protect yourself against the new coronavirus, you should frequently clean your hands with an alcohol-based hand rub or wash them with soap and water. Once your hands are cleaned, you should dry them thoroughly by using paper towels or a warm air dryer. An ultraviolet disinfection lamp will kill the new coronavirus. Ultraviolet lamps should not be used to sterilize hands or other areas of skin as UV radiation can cause skin irritation. Thermal scanners are effective in detecting people infected with the new coronavirus. Thermal scanners are effective in detecting people who have developed a fever, have a higher than normal body temperature because of infection with the new coronavirus. However, they cannot detect people who are infected but are not yet sick with fever. This is because it takes between 2 and 10 days before people who are infected become sick and develop a fever. Spraying alcohol or chlorine all over my body will kill the new coronavirus. No, spraying alcohol or chlorine all over your body will not kill viruses that have already entered your body. Spraying such substances can be harmful to clothes or mucous membranes, for example eyes or mouths. Be aware that both alcohol and chlorine can be useful to disinfect surfaces but they need to be used under appropriate recommendations. Vaccines against pneumonia will protect me against the new coronavirus. No, vaccines against pneumonia such as pneumococcal vaccine and Haemophilus influenza type B do not provide protection against the new coronavirus. The virus is so new and different that it needs its own vaccine. Researchers are trying to develop a vaccine against COVID-19 and the World Health Organization is supporting their efforts. Although these vaccines are not effective against COVID-19, vaccination against respiratory illnesses is highly recommended to protect your health. Regularly rinsing your nose with saline helps prevent infection with the new coronavirus. No. There is no evidence that regularly rinsing the nose with saline has protected people from infection with the new coronavirus. There is some limited evidence that regularly rinsing nose with saline can help people recover more quickly from the common cold. However, regularly rinsing the nose has not shown to prevent respiratory infections. Eating garlic will prevent infection with the new coronavirus. Garlic is a healthy food that may have some antimicrobial properties. However, there is no evidence from the current outbreak that eating garlic has protected people from the new coronavirus. The new coronavirus affects older people. People of all ages can be infected by the new coronavirus, COVID-19. Older people and people with pre-existing medical conditions such as asthma, diabetes, heart disease appear to be more vulnerable to becoming severely ill with the virus. World Health Organization advises people of all ages to take steps to protect themselves from the virus, for example by following good hand hygiene and good respiratory hygiene. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Antibiotics are effective in preventing and treating the new coronavirus. No, antibiotics do not work against viruses, only bacteria. The new coronavirus is a virus and therefore antibiotics should not be used as a means of prevention or treatment. However, if you are hospitalized with a COVID-19, you may receive antibiotics because bacterial co-infection is possible. Specific medicines for other illnesses prevent or treat the new coronavirus. To date, there is no specific medicine recommended to prevent or treat the new coronavirus. However, those infected with the virus should receive appropriate care to relieve and treat symptoms and those with severe illness should receive optimized supportive care. Some specific treatments are under investigation and will be tested through clinical trials. 
World Health Organization is helping to accelerate research and development efforts with a range of partners. If you want to read more about COVID-19, you can find a link in the description to the World Health Organization. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions or ideas on what we should talk next, please write them too. Thanks for watching and stay safe.